Hi, my name is Tia Diaz and I'm with Integrated Health Outreach. I'll be explaining befriending yourself. Befriending ourselves is an effective way to managing both internally and externally generated stressors. It helps us reduce fight, flight, freeze responses and strengthens the relaxation response. Common emotional triggers are regularly rooted in feelings of unworthiness. The emotions that trigger our stress responses often point to not feeling good about ourselves. When we feel stressful emotions, such as disrespected, dismissed, rejected, abandoned, alone, or helpless, it causes us to feel devalued, unimportant, and unworthy. We will want to defend these feelings or protect ourselves against these feelings. This creates a vicious circle of defense against the self. In other words, you are trying to protect yourself from your own feelings. So, if you beat yourself up mentally, judge or criticize yourself, put yourself down, you are feeding the internal stressor and triggering a core emotional vulnerability. It will decrease your sense of safety within yourself. Lack of feeling safe causes the stress responses to be triggered. To shift from the stress responses to the relaxation response, it is important to boost self-confidence. Treat yourself with kindness, be a compassionate friend to yourself, and appreciate and support yourself. So I ask you, what are the three things that you appreciate in yourself? These are qualities such as kindness, caring, smart, determined, resilient, and so forth. Repeat this to yourself four times or as much as you need to. I appreciate that I am kind. I value in me that I am smart. Be careful how you are talking to yourself because you are listening. Every day, give yourself a confidence boost because we easily get caught in negative self-talk, self-doubt, worries, and insecurities. Coming up is the exercise to help you break through this challenge. It is important to remember, confidence boosting can be done anywhere and anytime. You can do it walking, sitting, cleaning your teeth, washing dishes, driving, at a desk, everywhere. What is important is that you do it. Make it a part of your daily life through practice. Example, in bed when going to sleep, first thing in the morning, after work and as needed.